Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. In our previous videos, we were studying about IR spectroscopy. In previous video, we studied that what is Hooke's law and what are the different factors that affect IR spectroscopy. And we discussed in detail the electronic effect that affects IR absorption frequency. Here we are going to summarize it and then we will discuss some other factors that also affect absorption frequencies. So the first effect which is electronic effect. There are two types of electronic effect, resonating effect and inductive effect. The resonating effect can be resonating withdrawing effect or electron donating effect which can be represented as minus m or plus m. The electron withdrawing effect is due to the double bonds and electron donating effect occurs due to lone pairs. If we look at the inductive effect, inductive effects are also electron withdrawing inductive effect which can be represented with minus i and electron donating inductive effect can be represented with plus i. Withdrawing effect, withdrawing inductive effect is due to electronegativity of the atoms and electron donating inductive effect can be through hyperconjugation. In resonating effect, when the resonance is going to increase, so in both cases conjugation increases, thus the absorption frequency decreases. So if the resonance is going to increase or the conjugation is, is increasing, the absorption frequency will be lowered down. In case of electron withdrawing inductive effect, it increases the absorption frequency due to electronegativity of the atoms and electron donating effect it also decreases the absorption frequency due to hyperconjugation. Here we are going to take a single example which represents the same functional group with some different atoms or molecules attached to it. Like here we have acetaldehyde with hydrogen at this end. So the carb carbonyl group stretching, C double bond O stretching will give absorption frequency of 1730 per centimeter. While in case when it is attached with CH3 group like in acetone, so due to hyperconjugation or electron donating inductive effect, this frequency, absorption frequency is going to decrease. So this increases the single bond character of this carbonyl group due to electron donating inductive effect. Here when this group is attached with amino group that it becomes amide acetamide in this case the NH2 nitrogen due to lone pair of electron is it causes the resonating effect and this effect is a resonating donating effect electron donating resonating effect and due to this the absorption frequency is decreases more from 17 15 to it becomes 16 95 per centimeter while in case of hydroxyl group here we have acetic acid in this case oxygen again has lone pairs and it produces electron donating resonating effect but in this case the inductive effect due to electronegativity of the oxygen which is greater than resonating effect and in this case minus i dominates the plus m effect so again the absorption frequency is going to increase so here is the electronegativity effect r which increases the absorption frequency we discussed here in case of chlorine here we have acetyl chloride so this hydroxyl group is now replaced with chlorine the absorption frequency is much greater and it increases more and it becomes 1800 per centimeter 
and it is also due to the inductive effect which is more dominating due to halogen than the resonating effect due to lone pair of this halogen atom so this is the first factor that affects absorption frequency the second factor we are going to discuss is hydrogen bonding the hydrogen bond results in lengthening of the OH bond in alcohols or NH bond in alkyl amines so in this case the bond become weaker and thus absorption frequency is lowered down the difference in absorption frequencies of the free hydroxyl group and hydrogen bonded hydroxyl group depends on strength of the hydrogen bonding so strength of hydrogen bonding also matters in absorption frequency here we are going to take an example of free alcohol which is in vapor phase or in carbon tetrachloride and in this case the sharp band at 3650 per centimeter will be observed while in case of alcohol in liquid form or in, at present in, in the aqueous medium it will give broad band art at 3350 per centimeter so the absorption frequency is lowered down due to this hydrogen bonding so hydrogen bonding decreases this OH bond character and thus the absorption frequency is lower down so here we are going to take this example of the OH bond sometimes an intramolecular hydrogen bonding occurs and with may exhalation and these hydrogen bonding is much stronger than the other intermolecular hydrogen bonding like here in this case we have this hydrogen bond which is intramolecular hydrogen bond and it makes a ring so it ring formation makes it chelation and in this case the uh, hydroxyl OH bond becomes 2800 per centimeter so absorption frequency is decreased more it is due to the strong hydrogen burning and also it also affects this carbonyl stretching vibration and decreases this CO bond stretching vibrational frequency the third factor which affects the absorption frequency is angle strain so angle strain is the angle which affects the absorption frequency it is due to the bending of the bond or the deformation of angle if we take an example of the double bonded carbon atom like here or in case of carbonyl group or alkenes the bond angle is 120 degree due to trigonal planar structure and sp2 hybridization but if the angle is reduced to below 120 degree which causes angle strain and due to which absorption frequency increases or rises so angle strain causes the absorption frequency going to increase now we are going to take examples here we have a carbon carbon double bond with cyclohexane in which the bond angle is almost 120 degree which is almost according to its sp2 hybridization geometry and in this case the bond stretching is 1650 per centimeter which is cc bond stretching when this it becomes attached with the pentagonal structure so in this case the bond angle is decreased so this bond angle is decreased so it becomes 1655 per centimeter so the absorption frequency is going to increase and here in this case the bond angle becomes 90 degree and thus the absorption frequency increases more and here it becomes 60 degree this angle and it, it is 1735 per centimeter so absorption frequency is increasing again uh, here similarly if the bond is between C double bond O carbonyl group so again we are going to take these examples so in these cases again the absorption frequency is going to increase from 1715 to 1740 then 1775 and 1820 
it is due to the it is due to the increase of the s character in this double bond because it becomes more linear so the bond becomes more linear and due to linearization of this bond the s character is going to increase in this double bond and when s character increases the bond strength increases so bond strength increases which is the reason that the absorption frequency increases so in this case in this case if the s character increases bond strength increases then the absorption frequency increases and if we are going to decrease this bond angle if we are going to decrease this bond angle uh, if we are going to increase this bond angle from 120 to greater the absorption frequency will be will decrease more like uh, here if we take an example of this group like here in dietary butyl ketone in dietary butyl ketone this bond angle is greater than 120 degree due to these tertiary methyl groups and due to these groups they repel each other and this bond is greater than 120 degree and again if it is greater than 120 degree this carbonyl stretching will be decreased and the absorption frequency will be decreased because this bond will be more angular and s character is going to decrease the last factor which is the vibrational coupling it is less important but we are going to discuss here that vibrational coupling also affects the absorption frequency it is the mechanical interaction between different bonds which affect the ir absorption frequency how these bonds affect each other like here if we take an example of ch stretching in ch stretching the isolated bond let's suppose absorbs at 2900 per centimeter but in this case if this ch stretching is also affected by this ch stretching so this carbon is common between these two bonds now the the stretching will be symmetrical so here the stretching will be symmetrical and uh, this symmetrical stretching affects each other so both of these bonds affect each other and it decreases the absorption frequency 28 50 per centimeter from this one and we are going to take we are assuming this that it decreases to 28 50 per centimeter but in this case in asymmetric stretching so one bond is going to become longer and the other is going to shorter so it is asymmetric stretching so it is asymmetric stretching so in this case when it is shortened this becomes longer and in this case the absorption frequency increases from this isolated bond and it becomes 2960 per centimeter so asymmetric stretching enhancing enhances the vibrational absorption frequency so these 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 these, these two bonds affect on each other and due to which the absorption frequency of the ch so it is the absorption frequency of the ch bond so it is going to increase because of this effect so this effect is called coupling effect so both of these bond affect each other so coupling effect of bonds in symmetric absorption frequency decreases whereas in asymmetric absorption frequency increases as compared to isolated bond which has no coupling effect so these are the factors that today we discussed that affects the ir absorption frequency in our next lecture we will study the absor ir absorption spectrum and different functional groups then their uh, base value or the absorption frequency where they they absorb the frequencies so thanks for watching this video